Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thanks for stopping by today. I have an exciting unboxing for you today of a Seiko piece, Seiko Presage. And if you saw my last unboxing from last week where I unboxed that Citizen right there. Actually, let me just take it out. The watch box. Oops. I hope you saw it. this was a beautiful piece. So this Seiko is going to go head to head with this Citizen eventually on the channel. So I teased that at the end of the last unboxing of this Citizen and you're going to see exactly why this is going to be the perfect head to head battle of these two automatic dress watches once we open this Seiko Presage today. As you know, they're many different versions of Seiko presages and uh, colorways and things like that. But once you see it, you're gonna say, wow, the similarities between these two watches are, are quite apparent. Got some uh, Seiko pamphlets and booklets here. And nice box, nicest Seiko box I've ever opened. Got the plat or the cardboard box, and then inside there is a harder cardboard type box, all in white. All right, there it is. Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's let's take off everything plastic. Take it off the pillow here and take a look at this beautiful Seiko Presage. Well, here it is. I think I got all the plastic off, or at least most of it. And just look at that dial. I can see why many, many people fall in love with the Seiko Presage line of watches. This is this is gorgeous, really, it's really nice. I love that gold second hand, that needle style counterbalance, the eye of the needle type thing. This is a nice looking piece, really nice. Some high polishing, nice open case back there. Really cool watch for sure. Let's see, I got some hang tags here. You can see the reference number right there. You can see the movement for R35 right there. And uh, this is closer to the MSRP, but I paid, I think, about 350 on eBay from the same uh, seller where I bought the Citizen Watch Nation, I'm not affiliated with them, but um, they shipped out really quick and free shipping from Singapore super fast. So I can definitely recommend them for that. There is a little scratch, it seems, on the strap. Not a big deal for me. This is a nice dark brown, very supple and soft leather strap. You do get a deployant buckle that goes with the strap which is always a nice touch as it seems to be very well done there um, really really beautiful i love the crown on this watch you can hear the winding signed crown with that deep s let's get some measurements on this piece Uh, about a 40 and a half millimeter case, case thickness, it's right around 12 millimeters, a lot thinner than I thought. Maybe some Seiko presages are thicker. I'm not quite sure. Maybe someone can tell me that or not. Lug to lug, 47.5, and lug width is coming in 20 millimeters. So 
beautiful beautiful piece this is just a first impressions video unboxing i'll share my final th or not my final thoughts my full verdict about this watch in an upcoming full review video so you're going to want to stay tuned for that and then once i do the review on this and the review on the citizen then you're going to have to stay tuned for a sweet head-to-head, -head, side by side comparison of these two very similar dress watches. So I don't want to keep them side by side for too long here in this video because I want you to look forward to that. I'm looking forward to that head-to-head. -head. I think it's going to be the perfect showdown. Seiko Presage, really good looking piece. That's my first impressions of this beautiful green dial Seiko Presage. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below, what you think about this particular version of the Presage with this beautiful deep dark green dial. Um, and if you like the video, please let me know by leaving a like. That really helps out and we appreciate it. But that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time on The Town Watch.